we had him crucified. 呃，所以耶路撒冷人就很自然要质问他们说：“你说什么来着？我们刚刚把耶稣钉死，你说耶稣是为我的罪死，你有没有搞错 ？”And they said, "Yes, you had him crucified. That's why we agree with that. But he rose again from the dead because he is God." 这些犹太人说，这是这些基督徒会说：“是的，是你们已经把他钉死了，但是呢，他又从死里复活了。” And we saw him. 而且呢，我们亲眼。You see, you see, everything they said was against every everything that these these new people said was against everything that the Jews had done. So we use a to make a conclusion, that the Jews of that time, these these Jewish Christians, were completely standing on the side of the Jewish people and the Jewish people. They were coming to the side of the Jewish people. They were coming to the side of the Jewish people. They were coming to the side of the Jewish people. They were coming to the side of the Jewish people. They were coming to the side of the Jewish people. They were coming to the side of the Jewish people. They were coming to the side of the Jewish people. They were coming to the Is recognizing these problems. That this Paul, in writing the Book of Romans, he has actually seen these problems. Now, the first letter that the Holy Spirit directed the church to include in the canon was the first letter that the Holy Spirit directed the church to include in the canon was Paul's letter to the church in Rome. Uh, in the whole New Testament, the first letter in the canon was the first letter that the Holy Spirit directed the church to include in the canon. I should say to include right after the uh, the the, the uh, gospels and Mark and, and Acts. Uh, 那我我只能我我或者这样说，是在四大福音书和使徒行传以后，在所有的使徒书信里面，罗马书是第一卷被确认。But of the letters that were sent to the church, the Holy Spirit said, "Put this one first." 所有的书信里面，圣灵引导教会辨认出保罗的罗马书是属使徒书信里面第一卷，他们确定一定是神的话。Now the church in Rome was not one of the churches that Paul founded. 呃，这个罗马的教会实际上不是这个保罗所建立的教会当中其中一间。But Paul was very interested in this church. 但是保罗对罗马的教会有极大的兴趣。It was it was located in the capital city of the empire. 这个罗马的教会是在整个罗马帝国的中心城市都城罗马啊，这个的教会。And being the capital city, uh, uh, would give it great influence over the whole known world at that time. 呃，这个罗马在罗马帝国境内，包括在全世界，有这个了不起的影响力。Paul realized this too, that this church was made up of Jewish Christians and Gentile Christians. Uh, 这个保罗也也意识到一个事实。这个事实呢，当时的现状是什么呢？就是罗马的教会当中，既有犹太人，也有外邦人。啊，就是在在同一个教会里面。And they were living in a Gentile city, not Jerusalem. 哦，另外呢，这个犹既有犹太人又有外邦人的这个教会呢，又就位居什么呢？在一个外邦的城市里面，不是在耶路撒冷。Now. Being a Pharisee himself, uh, and understanding the strong antipathy that the Jews had to the Gentiles, he knew that problems would be arising between them. 这个保罗自己是一个法利赛人，那么他很清楚，如果外邦人和犹太人的信徒在同一间教会里面，他可以几乎可以摸到这个这个看到问题的啊，将来要产生的一种。一种问题的隐患，因为呢，犹太人对外邦人抱有强烈的反感和敌意。See in the Jewish in the, the Jewish Christians in their minds,、uh, Jesus was Jew. They realized he was the Savior, and、uh, but he had didn't tell them that they had to stop everything in the old、uh, Jewish religion. 呃，对当时犹太的这个基督徒来看呢，他们知道耶稣是大卫的子孙，是犹太人的后裔。那么耶耶稣是我们的救主，是犹太的救主，这个他们没有问题。而且呢，呃，但是呢，他们会说，耶稣在世的时候没有明确的说，他们要跟犹太教整个要要整个从脱离出来，要跟犹太教毫无相干。You see, in their minds, um, one 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 situation is in their minds. The circumcision was making them part of God's family. Uh, 在犹太人当中有个强烈的根深蒂固的一个印象，就是如果行割礼，那割礼呢是一个要让一个人成为犹太人的一个必经之途。不行过割礼的人根本就不能成为犹太人，更不能成为上帝家里的一员
So if these Gentiles become Christians now, well, obviously, they're going to have to be circumcised too. 他们有强烈的这个信心，而且强烈的认为，呃，如果外邦人，嗯，神要救外邦人可以，但是你外邦人要成为上帝的孩子，你也要一样跟我一样割一刀才行。You what the Jews didn't didn't realize was that 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 circumcision was a covenant between God and the Jews. 犹太人一千多年来一直被反复的灌输，就是啊，这个。这个割礼是神和犹太人立约的一个重要的凭据. But now Jesus had come, and Jesus had replaced the he had fulfilled the law and replaced it with with the gospel. 但是耶稣基督来了，他来的时候呢，他用自己的血啊满足了神的律法，不再通过外在的这个宗教行为来满足神的律律法. So so Paul knew. But there's a very good chance of having all kinds of problems. So if we can get this church in Rome understanding things, it's going to help the church all over the Roman Empire. So Paul is very clear. Paul is a foreigner. So God's spirit moves him. He has a legal background. He is very clear that in Rome, the Jewish people and the foreign Jewish people will always have this possibility of having a political fight. In short, while he had been a Christian, uh, in the short while he had been a Christian, he had come to visualize what this new organization called the church would be like. See, this new church was built on a foundation that included what Moses had taught, but it was not tied to the trappings that had been given to the Jews. Uh,保罗很清楚,这个教会,它一定是要建立在一个什么呢?建立在摩西神班给摩西的律法,神给摩西的教导里面,它一定还是根基神的律法,不能废去。但是呢,呃,新约的教会又不能建立在律法的条规
，死在十十字架上，然后呢，他赎清了全人类的罪，过去的、现在的和将来的罪，他都一并偿还。See this way, God's law given to Moses.